Hi, in this video, you will learn how to create organization chart in PowerPoint with photos. I am Ram Gopal from PrezoTraining.com, a site that offers creative presentation ideas for trainers. The organization chart you will learn to create today looks like this. Isn't this beautiful? You would be able to replace these with your own photos and you would be able to create this beautiful organization chart in a matter of minutes and I'll show you how to do that from scratch. So here I am on a new slide. All I need to do to make this particular organization chart is to create one of these uh, boxes. The first step is to go to Auto Shapes menu, pick up the rectangle tool which is going to hold our photo and the name of the staff. The next step is to go to Auto Shapes menu once again, go to Rectangles tool and I'm going to pick up this tool called as Round Single Corner Rectangle and I'm going to draw the round single corner rectangle here. I'm going to hold the shift button down as I create a beautiful square shape and I'm going to hold this uh, yellow handle and I'm going to move it all the way to the left to create this beautiful curvature here. I'm going to fill this with a picture, so I'm going to right click, go to Format Shape, go to Fill, go to Picture or Texture Fill, go to File, pick up a picture, maybe this one, and I'm going to say Insert, and now I have a beautiful picture ready. Now I'm going to write the name of the staff here, I'm going to pick up the text box tool, and I'm going to say Name of the staff, and I'm going to increase the font size and place it right under this. Beautiful. Now we have the base shape ready. Now we need a particular place for us to write the role of uh, this particular position. So let us go to Auto Shapes menu, Rectangles and pick up this one called as Round Same Side Corner Rectangle. Click and draw the shape on top of the earlier one. And I'm going to click on the yellow handle above and I'm going to move it to the center so I create the beautiful curvature. And I'm going to place this right on the top edge and adjust the width in such a way that it matches the width of the earlier text box. And I'm going to make some small adjustments and I'm going to write the name of the position or the role or whatever that you want to write it. And then I'm going to increase the font size. And to make it visible, I'm going to change the fill color of this to orange and remove outline. And this one, maybe I can make it in a uh, slight orange uh, or uh, lighter hue of orange. Remove the outline and this one I can have white outline. Now we have one of the boxes ready. I'm going to select everything together and I'm going to press Ctrl G. Now, I'm not going to make an elaborate organization chart like this. I'm going to show you a simple organization chart. You can pick up the same skills and you can create any organization chart of any size. So let us uh, learn something very simple. I'm going to place this right up here. I'm going to hold the control button down and I'm going to click and drag this to its new position. And here you can see that I have the second uh, level that is shown here. I can differentiate this with a different fill color, maybe a red color here and maybe a slighter hue of red color. If you want to learn how to create a lighter hue of any color, you choose the same color that you want to uh, reduce the hue of. Go to more fill colors and then you can always choose a lighter hue. So this is the lighter hue of uh, this particular color. Beautiful. Now I'm going to make another one right underneath this one. So I'm going to select this, hold the control button down, click and drag to its new position and this is the third level. Now you can always make a copy of this and place it here for the second level and you can make one more copy and add it to this to add one more uh, staff to a particular level. You can do any kind of uh, expansion and the basic principle is going to be just the same. You go to Auto Shapes menu to connect these various roles. All you need to do is to go to the lines option here. Go to this option called as elbow connector. Instead of just picking it up and then drawing the various connections you right click and say lock drawing mode. Now what that does is it locks this particular tool to your uh, cursor. Now I can click on this black connector point and then I can click on another black connector point here and I have connected these two shapes. Now I can do the same here. I can connect this with another one here and you can see that this is how the connection is made. And while I make these connections, you see that I don't have to go 
again and again to the outer shapes menu and pick up the shape. Since I have already locked it down, I can draw as many elbow connectors as I want. Once I am done with drawing everything, I go back here and click on the shape here and that takes the cursor back to its original position and now you have a beautiful organization chart ready. You can of course select these connectors and you can make a darker color and you can increase the weight. Now all those subtle changes you can make yourself. So that is how you create the beautiful organization chart from scratch. Now there is something that I want you to remember. Whenever you create an organization chart which shows not just the name of the staff but also a photo of the staff, then you would see that the space available on the slide is limited. Now how do you overcome the issue? How do you create elaborate organization charts? Because your, your organization charts are normally uh, fairly elaborate. They are not really going to fit into one single slide. So how are you going to handle that situation? The first thing I do is to give a big picture view. I give an overall view of how the various departments and various levels are organized using a big picture slide like this. Once I'm done with it, then I go into the finer details. I talk about the first level where I show how the various teams like HR team, marketing team, finance team, etc. are all mapped to one SBU head. Once people understand the big picture view, then I go into the next level detail. Here I talk about how a particular team is constructed. For example, what are the various departments inside a HR team? Once people understand this level, then I go into the individual team members where I show the picture of the team member and the name and some interesting details about the person. So that is how I introduce various team members. I never go into this slide right off the bat. I give the big picture view, then the next level and then this uh, inside level. There are a number of creative options in Complete Trainers Bundle that allow you to present uh, the picture of the staff, the name of the staff and the details. For example, take a look at this very interesting animated version of uh, the team introduction. Like here you can see, you can replace these with your own uh, photos of the staff. On a click, you get one of the persons highlighted and the details given and then the photo goes back to its position but in a smaller size and then the second person is introduced and the details are shown and the third person and the details are shown and the fourth person and the details are shown. Now these kind of slides can hold the attention of your audience completely. You will see that your audience are glued to your slide because of this beautiful effect. Now if you don't want such advanced animation then you can use something as simple and plain as this where we show different members of the staff, their photos and of course all unified with a similar effect and then you have all the details associated with them. So those are the different ideas around creating beautiful organization charts in your PowerPoint presentations. There are tons of creative options available in Complete Trainers Bundle to help you present your organization charts in style. Now talking about Complete Trainers Bundle, it is a collection of 4022 high quality PowerPoint templates that allow trainers and course creators to create professional looking training slides in a matter of minutes. All the slides in Complete Trainers Bundle are created using our proprietary Neuro Slide Design System. The system uses cutting edge neuroscience principles that allow you to create presentations that grab and hold your audience's attention. You can find more details about Complete Trainers Bundle by clicking on the button here. I'll also leave a link to this product in the description area below this video. I hope you liked this tutorial on how to create organization chart in PowerPoint. If you did, then you will really love our free snackable PowerPoint course. Free snackable PowerPoint course is an email course with 16 super short emails. Each email gives you a 30 second PowerPoint tip or trick that you can pick up and implement immediately to impress your boss, colleagues and audiences. If you're a trainer or a business presenter, you will find lots of very interesting ideas that you can implement right away in this free course. You can click on this yellow button here to enroll into the free course right away. I'll see you inside the course.